I'm Robert Bluestein. Uh, I do a lot of different things. I'm a historian. I write. Uh, I paint. I love to do any kind of artwork, anything in the performing arts. I collect historical memorabilia. I play in a men's baseball league, so I love baseball. Just about everything is uh, is a question for me. I love. I'm curious about everything. So that's. If you ask what I do for a living, I'm vice president of a software company. <laughs> that's the last thing. Um, I only picked up painting about a decade ago. It's interesting because uh, my daughter was was having some difficulties uh, translating a thought into uh, into it, and I grabbed a brush, and suddenly things came out. And as it did, um, it was at a time in my life when that kind of expression is good uh, because us, us men aren't as good at expressing emotions as, as women are. I think painting for me got to be a therapeutic way for me to express my emotions um, and to come out with whimsical stuff or stuff that's really deep and very uh, profound and just to put it all on a canvas. I'll try anything, and I'll try it with any medium. I'll paint, I'll walk around the house, I saw salt on the table, I'll paint with that, throw it on a painting. I'll, I've painted with spices. Uh, didn't turn out so well, but I'm inspired by the Impressionist. I love the, uh, the, the light, interplay of light. Um, so I love flowers, uh, not afraid to admit that. Um, I love landscapes uh, and the, uh, the world around. And I like to look at things in a very uh, broad perspective. But I was shooting professionally for quite a number of years with the Major League Baseball. And uh, in my travel work or in my sports photography, I love to use a really wide angle lens and to try to capture everything as if I'm almost laying on my back looking at it. So a lot of my paintings have that universal theme of the really spread with a with a lot of different things in it and I, and you know I want a painting to have something for everybody in it. Have you ever driven down a road and you you you, you see all these trees and you just take it in for a moment and you realize that you've just driven by hundreds of trees and each one has got a different shade of green in it. Uh I'm so curious about how there can be so many different shades of green. And I go to great lengths to try to find all those different shades and, and try to, and even to do new colors if I can. I've been blessed and maybe cur roundly cursed for having a photographic memory. And I, I just, I remember things that are so odd sometimes. Pictures to me are, um, all the paintings I have are usually something out of memory. And my mom used to do this thing with us when we were kids where we'd look at a picture and she'd close the book up, and we'd have to try to name as many things as we could in it. And she did this over and over and over again. It burns in my head, and, and little details come out, you know, as to even where certain signposts are and certain trees and certain things. And so uh, it's, it's almost, it's all off memory, actually. So my wife has a, a form of um, macular generation, and she, she can't see as, uh, all that well. So taking, taking a place where we've been and putting it on a canvas for her helps her to remember and visualize where we were at. Some of my paintings will do that. Not all of them, but some of them will do that. Uh, using my calligraphy and just writing my name. And, I, you know, I don't actually go in order if I don't have to. I'll, whatever letter strikes me, I'll do that letter. Maybe I'll let it sit for a day and then finish it up. It's a quirky thing that us artists like to do.